It is Friday night and I am bored. I am bored as hell. <laughs> there should be work. There's no work right now on a Friday night. This don't make no sense. I shouldn't be at home. I should be out making some money. Last week was pretty good, which was the first week of the month. I ended up making what, 16, 1700. Uh, most of that is already gone on bills and stuff like that. But I was hoping this weekend I at least would make maybe around another thousand or something like that. Back when I first started, uh, there used to be parties every weekend, always packed. You used to make at least 2,000 to 2,500 every freaking week. I mean, through the week, weekends, jam packed. Now, you gotta pray for one or two, maybe three, and if that happens, then you might make a thousand, something like that. But since I do own my own business, it makes it a little bit easier on me because I get to pick and choose which ones I go to, and also, I get to make money off of the ones I send out as well. So I always get asked this question. Why did I quit my job and become a male stripper? I was a security guard for a while, but I always had to work, what, two jobs, day and night, night and day. I really didn't have too much free time and I was still kinda pretty much struggling living in a small apartment, taking care of business, trying to pay car note, rent, bills, and everything like that. And somebody actually started talking to me about being a male entertainer and I was like, what the heck is that? <laughs> I honestly didn't even know they existed. So when she started talking to me about it, I was like, let's look it up. She went on and sent my photos out. They ended up calling me the same day and asked me if I could work that weekend. And I told them like, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, this is my first time. Maybe they could set me up and someone show me the ropes. I get started the next weekend, a heart beating out my chest, man. I was extremely nervous. I didn't know what to do. I was thinking maybe if I take a couple shots, I can get into it. The deal was a little bit off. Uh-oh. This is what happens when you live in the hood, man. Yep. Go ahead, get out of here. What you loud at? <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know how I got over that, but I guess repetition as I continue to go, uh, now is just pretty much easy for me. I don't even think about it because I already know what I'm gonna do, so when I go in, I pretty much cut it up and Lays out, man. I tear it up. Now uh, my shows is, is just just automatic fire. The last time I worked, uh, I was doing security in like a what's it called? Like for a trucking, like for a trucking company where I sit there and I sign people in. I was working through the night and I end up falling asleep. The guy rolls up on me. He ends up cutting me loose because you know. Obviously, you're not supposed to be sleeping. And it's crazy because once they gave me my last check, they was like, this is going on your permanent record. I was like, what the hell is a, a permanent record for a security guard? Like, all I got to do is apply for another job and not put you down. <laughs> I was already getting into the little entertainment thing. And I was already making cool money on the weekends while I was doing security through the week. But after getting fired that last time, I went on and was like, you know what? I'm not going back. I don't feel like it. Uh, I want to figure out because I always wanted to be a business owner. I end up, you know, learning the ins and outs, saved up some money, and pretty much put it, pulled it together, started my own agency, and it was doing great for maybe about, you know, a good four years. It helped me with my credit. Rent was always paid on time. Everything paid ahead of time. Bills, all of that. Bank account was up. I think I had the most I've ever had in my bank at one time was 15, 15,000. And all I was working was two days a week. So I literally had so much free time to do whatever I wanted to do and go wherever I wanted to go, sleep whenever I wanted to sleep. I opened my office, uh, get started running my business, uh, hit the gym, have fun. And now, uh, it's, now it's just a little bit different. You know, it's a lot more slower. Actually, since last year, 2023, it slowed down. It got pretty bad. So I started doing personal training. I got a few clients that I started working with. I just wanted that freedom. I always wanted to own my own business. And honestly, I'm not a good employee. Even though I'm a hard worker when I'm working, like, I, I, you know, I do put 100% into it. But, you know, I'm not the most punctual <laughs> at all. If I'm tired, you know, I'll try to find a way to sneak off and take a nap. Uh, I take longer breaks than what I'm supposed to. <laughs> so 
Working just wasn't for me, man. I think in high school, I started a candy selling little business. I had picked up a few little people. Uh, I found somebody with a van. Uh, we went out, I made money off of their sales and I made money off of my sales, which kept me with, you know, you know, brand new stuff in, in school. So I've always had that mentality of being a leader and being an entrepreneur and being an owner. This is just something I always wanted to do, man. I always, always wanted to be my own boss and do things on my own time and by my own accord. Uh, I just got to hustle a little bit harder this year and hopefully things pick up and go a little bit better. KT, man, hopefully I see y'all in the next vlog. Go ahead and hit that like button. Bruh, bruh.